Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a Tuesday inside of FIFA 21. I wanna talk about what we could be seeing today and just how this footies content is literally next level in this game. I wanna talk about the SBCs that we had yesterday with that La Liga party bag player pick SBC, which was really cool. Of course, it's a player pick, so we had no idea it was coming. That was a cool piece of content yesterday. And of course, of course, the King Kazoo SBC because I think that sort of content is just the little things the little things like that can take this content to the next level in FIFA and then putting out that SBC is Awesome, so I want to talk about that again what we could be seeing today on Tuesday Of course today on Tuesday is actually another FIFA 22 official Gameplay reveal this is going to be a video preview that goes live at 6 p.m UK 1 p.m. Eastern on the YouTube channel EA Sports FIFA's YouTube channel. So there's going to be more FIFA 22 information, official gameplay reveal, which if I'm being completely honest, I would probably expect to see a little bit of a pitch notes released after this because there's probably going to be some stuff shown in this gameplay reveal. So at least either right after this or at least soon, I would imagine we get some sort of pitch notes, gameplay deep dive type situation like we had last year. And that will be something that a lot of people will be talking about we'll probably cover it here in the channel talking about those new updates and new features along those lines but again let's get back to footies right because this is what is going on in this game at the moment i want to talk about yesterday's content and then we'll kind of circle into what could be coming today now of course yesterday we had two sbcs actually three sbc sets that were out but this was the big one the Miura king kazu sbc with a whopping plus 65 pace from his base rare bronze item plus 65 play pace they gave him a two-star skill move upgrade they also increased his work rates from low low to high low i mean this guy is uh 1967 he's older than some icons that are in this game so of course this guy's been made popular this year through the likes of danny uh aarons and also Zwayback. so this again they're calling this sbc a hidden gem right the hidden gem king kazu mira sbc and i think this is just a huge w right because this is something that is fun a lot of you guys that have not known about this card or don't watch any of those guys or haven't heard about the popularity of this player it's kind of like the the silas uh formerly known as waman right that's kind of how he got popular this year was just through some online hype with some of those creators that liked using his card for whatever reason same thing with this mirror card right and it's just cool that ea sports is kind of recognizing that hype and playing off it a little bit and creating some content and just a fun card and also pricing this fun card like where it needs to be fifty thousand coins because technically it's hard to link this guy, right? Maybe you're linking him to Iniesta. Of course, you have guys like the prime icon moments, um, Nakata that went flying today. Uh, Nakata was like 75,000 coins. And then of course, with the Japan links, he's not on the popular page anymore, but he doubled in price. He was 150 at one point earlier today. So this SBC uh, coming out, that's why I'm calling this content next level. That's, that's one piece of why. Just this huge boost on this card, purely for fun, right? Purely for fun. They call that a hidden gem as well, which I'm interested to see if they do any more SBCs related to a hidden gem type of player later on during this footies promo in the next few weeks. But I was a big fan of that SBC that they dropped yesterday just because it was fun, right? Pure fun. And if you're not interested, then that's fine, right? But just the epitome that is a 50,000 coin SBC that is fun to do and easy and a cool card. I love that, right? That is what people want in this game is just more cards, more items and better options to get them right and i feel like all three of those boxes are checked off with that mira card now also yesterday they dropped a very interesting party bag player pick sbc we're actually going to go into the menus and look at this one or go off the menus Two twenty thousand coins this required an 88 rated squad which seemed really really high in the moment when you actually go and do the math i think there are 36 or 33 cards available to pack from this La Liga specific foot birthday tots PTG or summer stars SBC and if you take a look at a lot of the La Liga cards uh, I believe it is 13 out of those 33 or 36 I forget what the final number is that are over the SBC price so technically if it's one of four you have a pretty high chance of packing or getting a choice of somebody that is worth 
the coins from this party bag. So in all in all honesty, this isn't that bad of a gamble. If you take a look at the odds, 220,000 coins, again, an 88 rated squad seems like so much, but 88s aren't even that expensive right now at the moment in this game. They're up about four to 5,000 coins a piece. They were in the low to mid 20s. Now they're up to about 27, 28,000 coins for most of them. But still, there was a slight rise there today. There's a slight rise on all of the fodder, to be honest. Just, it wasn't a spike, right? I was maybe expecting a little more, more of a spike. But since they went with like a higher rated SBC, those 83s, 84s, again, it just kind of looked like this today. They had a nice little slow rise. That's kind of where they're at right now. I believe 84s are starting to trickle upwards as well. Again, plus 2%. So just a slow, slight rise today after the supply on Sunday. Now, again, this, this fodder could have potentially gone down some in price if we were to have had some good preview packs. And I'm one thing I want to look out for today is they've kind of been going like one day on, one day off with like really, really good packs, promo packs, preview packs that like supply the market. So what I'd be watching out for today would be like ultimate packs, 50K packs, 100K packs, or the 87 plus star preview packs in the promo section. If we see any of those, that might be an indication that EA is kind of supplying the market with some fodder and also the cards that are in batch one, right? We've noticed that all these, these team of the year items, the record breakers or any of the cards that are in batch one on a day where we have good supply in terms of the promo packs that are preview items. I mean, some of these cards really drop off. They take a short dip in price and they bounce back up later on from rarity. Since we didn't have a lot of supply yesterday, this Van Dyke on Sunday was like 200,000 coins flat. He's right now sitting at 240K. So you're seeing some of these cards just kind of get rare since they're still uh, in packs, but they're not getting supplied as much. Ferland Mendy was like 90K. He's now like 113,000 coins. Uh, that's that's kind of covering the items that are in packs. Now, if we don't have good preview packs or good promo packs, today on Tuesday, then I would expect that fodder and maybe those cards to maybe just keep trickling upwards a bit. But I'm interested to see what EA does in that department. Because again, that's another one of those things where it's been like a, you know, one day on Friday, we had the insane supply. Saturday was a bit quieter, right? But then Sunday, they came back with 87 plus packs. Yesterday on Monday was quieter. Now maybe today they bring it back again. Now also part of the content piece that we had yesterday was this new footies vote. And this is actually the, the slightest of L's in my opinion. I know we're getting a lot more SBC content than we have in footies of years past um, in other ways, but I was really hoping to see more of these footies votes. We had this vote come out yesterday. They switched the items to loan cards. So now it should be more of a true vote, technically, uh, instead of the Carvajal and the Manolas, of course, those were not loan items, so people use them for SBC fodder. They made these items loans today, 85 Koke and 83 Umtiti. Now, I actually voted for Koke because I think that a boosted Koke card, and of course, having Marcus Urente in my starting 11, give you really, really nice links for that card. Um, I, I don't know about Umtiti with the medium, medium work rates unless they made him medium high. I just don't know, right? Both of these cards could be great. Of course, the Umtiti links. I think Umtiti is probably going to end up winning this vote, but we're not getting this SBC. There was a little bit of a information pop-up after or right before we did the vote. We're not getting this SBC until Friday, uh, and that's a while, right? If we're only having one of these player picks per week, then they're going to have to keep rolling out the SBC content like we had with King Kazoo yesterday. They're going to have to keep rolling out these footies favorites or whatever they're going to do. They're going to, they're going to have to just keep it going because um, I'm not sure what they're going to do in the middle of the week if they're not doing as many of those footies voting SBC. So that is one thing that was a bit, I guess, confusing to me, maybe a little bit. And I was just very curious about because I was expecting to see like kind of that two day period for the voting you wait one day and then the day after that you get an SBC. So I was expecting, you know, an SBC for Umtiti or Koke on Wednesday. But when that end game message popped up and said Friday, I was like, hold on, that's a little bit later than normal. So I don't know, man, I'm kind of curious about that. Hopefully we start to turn those out a little bit faster too, because I think that's good content, right? And I like the voting piece of that, which makes it pretty fun. So again, talking about this party bag pack though, and this is why we've never had an SBC like this in FIFA. We really have not. A league specific party bag player pick off of the last four, I guess you could say, relevant or um, relevant, not relevant, I can't speak, relevant 
um, promos that we have had, right? Foot birthday, future stars, team of the season. Sorry, foot birthday, tots, festival of football, and summer stars. Um, I think this is a dub. I really do. And what I'm really curious to see from here on out is, are they going to spin it up to have other leagues? Because I think the Premier League would be another fantastic opportunity for another party bag player pick. But I'm also interested because they released a La Liga um, vote for an SBC that will be coming on Friday and a La Liga specific player pick. So I don't know what's going on technically with the La Liga stuff right now, but they're kind of pushing that La Liga agenda for whatever reason. But if they were to do another one of these for the Serie A or for the Premier League, I honestly think that those two leagues would have just as much hype as the La Liga did today. Okay, again, you look at Summer Stars, you look at the Prem, you've got Kane, you've got Sterling, you've got Cavani, uh, you've got Ferran Torres that are in the main team. Now, if you go back and look at Summer Stars Team 1, you've got De Bruyne, you've got Richarlison, you've got Laporte, um, you've got Phillips and Christensen. And then if you go back to the PTG teams, you've got guys like Foden. You've got guys like Dominson Sanchez. You've got Wijnaldum, Pogba, Firmino. It's a 99-rated card. And then, of course, you have the entirety of Premier League team of the season and a few pretty good cards uh, that are in foot birthday even that are from the Premier League. So I think the Premier League would be a fantastic, fantastic option for another party bag player pick if it was to be league specific. So I'm kind of hoping for that. I even think Serie A would be pretty good as well with multiple editions of Ronaldo, um, you know, the Serie A PTGs, you've got Delict, so that maybe is not as hype. You got Sanchez, maybe not as quite as hype, but then Summer Stars, you got that 99 Ronaldo, you've got Locatelli, you've got uh, Spinazzola, you've got a couple items that are in Team 2 as well, right? You've got Chiellini, you've got Chiesa, you've got Lukaku. So, I mean, I think, and, and Melee as well, to be honest, the left back from uh, from, from Denmark, I think Serie A could be a really good one as well. Now, if it's Serie A, they might have to maybe lower the rating down a little bit. I feel like 86 would be a good range for this. Um, if they do continue this on for some other leagues, I would kind of hope for that. But I like this concept, right? And the funny and the fun thing about these are we don't have to have any pack code. It's just boom. It comes out, bang, and the content is there because it's a player pick. So that's the thing about footies and even about Summer Stars when they did a, some of these SBCs a couple weeks ago with like the tots or ptg player pick that kind of content is just again where ea is stepping it up in this stage of the game we saw it last year during summer heat they really stepped up the content and i would even say they're doing it again this year with these footies favorite sbcs with those new types of player picks uh and just the objectives to be honest the king kazoo sbc like that is to me just stepping up the content one more notch and i really am a fan of that and i hope that it continues now let's talk today tuesday right so today tuesday probably kind of thinking more the same maybe a player sbc maybe not but one thing i will be looking out for today is particularly weekend league specific objectives right those usually do get dropped on tuesdays i think sometimes on wednesdays it just depends but i'd really be watching for a nation or league specific i um Weekend League plus objective this week. I really think, and maybe since they're pushing the La Liga, um, I guess, narrative this week with the voting and with the player pick that was yesterday, maybe they'll go from a nation to a league. Now, I already know that we've had the Spain Weekend League, and you know that's kind of like the main, obviously, Spain, La Liga. You, you kind of connect those together, but maybe they're going to do something along the lines of that. Maybe it'll be Brazil, maybe English, maybe Italy. Who knows what they're going to do, but I would watch out for some weekend league plus objectives today to have some extra requirements and hopefully the lower win thresholds. Because again, like we talked about with the one week on one week off, we are on a week where it would make sense. And if EA were following their same plan, they would put out some objectives uh, that would be relative to a nation based weekend league plus objective this week. So that's one thing I'd be watching out for as well. And then today, again on Tuesday, I think we'll get some sort of like casino upgrade pack, right? Whether it's an icon upgrade, whether it's like an 82 plus, 83 times 10, 85 player pick, some an, another one of those player picks, uh, like the La Liga one from yesterday. They're just really spilling out the content. So I am just genuinely curious to log on to FIFA today on Tuesday and see what we have today because yesterday was really fun opening those La Liga player picks it was really fun doing King Kazoo I haven't played a game with him yet
but I'm going to have to do that tonight. And it's still very grindable, right? It's still very craftable at this time as well. But I will say, again, we've talked about this and we've mentioned this. Just be careful with your SBC fodder at this stage because if you're running low on fodder uh, or you don't have a lot of coins to be going out here and doing uh, like, you know, 10 to 11,000 coins per pack for these upgrade packs because these guys are all like 1,300 coins a piece, maybe even 1,400 now for gold rares making the price of 81 plus player picks go up. If you don't have those types of coins, we're still gonna see content like this in my opinion over the next two, three to four weeks as footies is continuing on and it might even be better and easier to craft and more fun to craft if you have different cards in packs. So I know a lot of people are looking at this batch one. They're like, okay, it's good, but I know there's gonna be another level. So if you wanna hold off a little bit and maybe just grind the objective content and not do so much with your fodder, unless it's an SBC you really wanna do, that might be one way where I would encourage you to maybe hold off in just a bit. Um, because I do, I do still think we're gonna have good content coming for the next two to three to four weeks as this footies promo continues on. It's, it's, it's at least a three to four week promo. Again, they said there's gonna be three batches, this batch is out for two weeks, so that just leaves it at least a four-week promo if they're doing one week for the next two best of re-releases. So again, today on Tuesday, maybe another player SBC, maybe some sort of um, you know party bag type upgrade pack type situation, which could make some of the fodder go up a little bit more. And then again, we're watching out for some weekend league plus objectives and some better promo packs that are in the store, maybe to supply that part of the market a little bit. And then we'll, of course, keep our eyes out in case there's any sort of like pack code that is uploaded or anything along those lines that would, you know, kind of hint at a big time SBC coming today. But EA, keep doing a good job of this content, man, because it's been it's been fun, right? I think that's the word to describe this all. If you have the facilities, apart from the hood, that's a whole nother conversation. But if you have the facilities to do any of these SBCs, you know, if you have any fodder in your club or any coins for upgrade packs, it's just a fun time to be on the game right now. It really is. There's a lot coming out. There's a lot to do, a lot to grind. I know league SBCs are going away. Um, so for some of you guys, that's a, a big L. But the objectives are here. The upgrade packs are here. And of course, when we get SBCs like that King Kazoo, it's just flat out fun, right? That's the word that I would use to describe it. And that's why I wanted to make this video today and talk about it a little bit more. Of course, I opened a video or I opened some of those packs last night on a video. Go and check that out on the channel um, because that was a lot of fun too. I actually snagged myself a Griezmann from that player pick last night and they just they just seem to be giving out pretty good, man. So I'm excited to use this guy. He doesn't make the squad. Truck FC, by the way, Kane and Lukaku both starred up top for me this weekend in the weekend league. I mean, a right striker Lukaku with 36 goal contributions in 22 games. Absolute beast. Erickson in a 3-5-2 is what I played this weekend. I got my silver one and I got out. But I had a blast, right? I had a blast playing very attacking. And of course, with the level of these cards at this stage of the game, it was very fun. So I had a, I had a favorable weekend league experience for one time actually playing. It's been a long time since I did. But that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.